Hey, how's going? Today I'll show you how to get the IPTV Extreme application to your Fire Stick or Android TV. It's a pretty decent IPTV player that works with quite a lot of live TV services. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get IPTV Extreme to your device. First of all, you have to get an app called Downloader. You can actually get it for free from your official Amazon App Store or from Google Play Store depending on what kind of device you are using. So just click on that magnifying glass over here and then go to the search bar. And in the search we have to start typing the loader. And as you can see, the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on it and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you got the loader, it's not over yet. We'll still have to set it up on your device. So, in order to set up the loader, we gotta go to settings by clicking on that gear icon right here. Then we need to scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it. And here in the settings, we'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So, if that's the case and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. We just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now on your remote, you gotta click on the middle button for seven times and do it fast. So let's do it. And as you can see, now at the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps. In here you have to locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does is going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, we gotta go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, and there you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which you always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, we got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to the Netherlands right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So let's just go and open the loader, finally. Here, on the left side menu, it's very important that you click on Home and not on Browser. So once again, make sure that you have clicked on Home. And then here in that search bar, we'll need to enter a link, which is going to be iptvextreme.eu. So let's enter it together. Once again, it's iptvextreme. Dot e u. So here's the link, you can see it on your screen right now. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes. Because obviously if you make a mistake then the link is not going to work. After that you have to click on go 
And while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you will get even more content about flower sticks. And now, after the website loaded, we just have to click on the here button next to download. So we click on here, then a new web page is going to open with all available versions of IPTV Extreme app. So the newest one currently is 128. It came out on 7th of August of 2024. However, those are quite small numbers, so it might be hard for you to click on exactly 128. So what I would recommend you to do is click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and press on zoom in. Then we can do it once again, zoom in. And now as you can see, we just uh, made those letters and numbers bigger. So it will be easier for us to click on 128. So maybe let's zoom in once again. And yep, that's something we can work with, I guess. So it's 128, let's click on it. And then as you can see, there are free and pro versions. So we'll be using the free version of the app. Once again, let's zoom in so it will be easier for us to click on the free version. Here it is, click on it. And now we can see different versions of the app for different devices. But since we are using a Fire Stick, I recommend using the second version, which is going to be our May Buy V7A. So once again, make sure that you get V7A version. In our case, it's the second version from the top. So we got to select it and click on V7A. And now the download is going to start. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. In my case, it's pretty fast. So it just takes a couple of seconds or around 10 seconds, I guess, to download the app. Now we have to click on install and wait until IPTV Extreme application gets installed to your Fire TV or Android TV device, depending on your device type, of course. And then don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way we'll be able to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on our device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way we get rid of unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save you some free space on your device. And that's really important, because you don't really have too much of free space on your Fire Stick anyway. Now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, open it, then scroll down to the bottom, and here you'll find IPTV Extreme, which we just unloaded. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, IPTV Extreme is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.